My name is Kurt Harmon. I've been a builder, designer, architect, engineer in the building industry for 30 years. About 15 years ago, I had a back injury that laid me up for several months. And during that time of convalescing, read every book on my shelf. I watched every fishing video ever, ever made. I was really bored. I saw a, a PBS painting show on TV one Saturday morning and I thought, hey, maybe I'll try that. So I sent my boy down to get canvases and brushes and paints and he came back and I tried it. And it was an interesting experience because I had no training, but I really liked it. And I found out that I had an aptitude for it. I just kept wanting to do more. So one thing led to another and pretty soon I was painting every kind of a scene I could find. Every calendar that I saw, I had to go look through every calendar and all the photographs from trips that I had taken, uh, trying to get reference material. And then it kind of evolved from there. Instead of just painting scenes that were kind of generic or not personal to painting things that as I saw them. At first, it was it's kind of discouraging because you want to be perfect when you paint. You want to, every painting, you want it to be really your best. And unfortunately, we're our worst critics. And so instead of trying to make every painting perfect, I kept going back and back and back and repainting and getting frustrated. I finally just decided, do the best I can, paint it, sign it, and then move on. And it really did help me because the next time I did a painting like that, I remembered what I had learned, and then that one was incrementally a little better. And each one gets better, and there's a flaw in every painting, I, painting now, which is a whole other story. But I tell my students, I can teach them how to paint, I can't teach them how to be an artist. That has to come from within. I can give them the technical skills that I've learned, but I tell them if they want it to be a, perfect like a photograph, we'll take a photograph and hang it. But if you want a painting, you want to express yourself, then just do that. Express your art artistic ability, your creativity the best you can, and that's it. That's, that's it. That's a painting. It's not a photograph. And they seem to respond to that, and that's helped me through the years get better and better. Pretty soon I've got probably 50 students that I teach. And most of them, and maybe I could go be as bold as to say as all of them, had never really painted much before or been involved in art. But they had that creative need, and one thing led to another, and they've all really become quite accomplished in their own right. And they're all at different stages of their development as an artist, but it's really gratifying.